told that she's going to be in this lesson. Thank you for saying it was cool. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to teach you something else that we can do in Photoshop. Um, we can actually turn this image black and white. And then using a tool in Photoshop, we can paint the color back in. Essentially, we can have a, an entirely black and white picture, and then the, the person, the subject in the photo can be in color. That'll draw the eye towards an athlete or an action that's happening, make it look a lot more dynamic, look really, really cool. So I'm going to show you guys how we can do that with this photo right here. And then it'll be on you guys to do it uh, with photos that um, for for this next assignment. Again, this is this is all about creating a black and white image. So I'm gonna go in Photoshop after I open up this photo. I'm gonna go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and instead of doing levels, I'm gonna do black and white. Again, it asks me to give it a name. I, I'm just going to leave it like this. You could name it, I don't know, but I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to hit OK. And now our image has been converted to black and white. Let me show you what's happening. In our layer window, Photoshop is all about layers, by the way. In our layer window, we have our full color image. And then we have this filter or this adjustment that's on top that is turning that image black and white just like with levels. In our properties window, right over here, we have settings that we can change that will affect how it converts red pixels, yellow pixels, green, cyan, blue, and magenta pixels to black and white instead of in full color. I'm going to put this back so you can see what I'm talking about. When I drag this to the left, you can see that those red pixels are changing yellow, green, cyan, there wasn't much cyan in here, and we have blues, and magentas. You can change those settings yourself based off of the photo that you have. So once I've done that, I've got a black and white image. Now, to mess with this, to bring back the color, we're going to work on what's called this layer mask. Right here, do you see this white box? We can use our paintbrush. This is the brush tool in Photoshop. We can use a paintbrush to literally paint the color back in. So essentially, if I get my paintbrush out and I start to paint, oh, this is really small. I'm going to turn that back to a larger paintbrush. There we go. You can start to see that color of the original image come back. I'm going to undo that. And I'll show you the settings for this paintbrush in Photoshop. So I have my adjustment layer. I'm going to click on this layer mask to work on it. I'm going to get my paintbrush out. And up at the top of Photoshop, you'll see all the settings for my paintbrush. The most important one is this guy right here. This controls the size of the brush and even what's called the hardness level. I want you to imagine how hard the edges are around a paintbrush, an actual brush that you would paint with on a canvas, that's got really soft bristles, right? So it's really soft. And compare that with a crayon, a straight up Crayola crayon. Does that have soft edges? No, it's really hard. So if I were to take the hardness level down to 0%, and if I were to paint, notice how soft the edge of that paintbrush is. Again, I'm going to turn the hardness level to 100%. That's the edge of that. So when you are using your paintbrush, you're going to go up here to increase the size and change the hardness level 
and you're going to paint to bring the color back just for the subject in your photo, not for the background. If we just do the subject in the photo, again, it draws the eye in. We want that. We don't want the background. And if you make a mistake, like I did right here, I got a little bit of the background right there. I'll show you the trick. When I paint, I use this foreground color to paint. Black will bring the color back. If I change this color box from black to white, white makes the color go away. Black. white. If you do some sort of halvesy, like if you're like grayish, you, you kind of bring the color back. So it has to be 100% on either edge. 100% black or 100% white. And you're going to have to change the paintbrush depending on what you are painting. Because for this assignment, I don't want any of that background color to show. I just want the person. So to make sure that you are doing this the right way, everybody look up at the board. This tool right here is called the zoom tool. And if I click, I can zoom in all the way in. If I go to the properties of the zoom tool, I can get minus, and now when I click, I can zoom out. So when I use that zoom tool, I want you to make sure that you are either using the plus or the minus. In order to make sure that this is perfect, you're going to have to get up close and use a brush the appropriate size with either black or white. It's going to take a while. So I'm going to post an assignment on Google Classroom. I want you to go and find one picture of the ones that I'm going to give to you guys, just one, and change it from color to black and white, and then paint in one person on that image. All right, let's get to it. 